All right, welcome to my channel. My name is Garrett, and we are about to talk about some, uh, I don't know if I should say it in the first minute of the video. So I'm just gonna let you figure it out. Now, before we get into the topic, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the bell, even though it does literally nothing. If you look at the stats, it, it doesn't, look, it, it does nothing. But I appreciate it anyways. So Project Veritas has dropped a little bit about the inner workings of the toy company Hasbro. Now Hasbro, much like a lot of other companies, are bending the knee to, well, I'm just gonna come out and say it, racists and their ideology, their mantra, critical race theory. Now, if you say that these people are out to get your kids, then that may sound like some kind of conspiracy theory or maybe you're just making things up, but we've seen it multiple times in multiple different things like schools a lot of people are trying to push this critical race theory of looking at history through a certain point of view on this channel we like to talk about pop culture and stuff like that and how they're being affected and toys that's part of pop culture we're about to have the snake eyes movie that's a hasbro property right there that's gi joe and we've already seen how they're doing a race swap on snake eyes there this actually gives us a glimpse into the inner workings how they train their employees now if you actually search this video on youtube you don't it doesn't come up <laughs> even though it's a talked about topic right now it actually doesn't come up so in in light of that i'm going to play a little bit of it i won't play the whole thing you got to go to their channel to watch that but i'm going to play a little bit of it and i'm going to kind of give my thoughts on the situation let's put on the cans my name is uh <clears throat> david johnson i'm a packaging engineer for hasbro they are attempting to covertly push CRT, critical race theory, through branding and messaging through their products. I decided to come to Project Veritas because I opposed the indoctrination of children that they wanted to push. Commend this guy. He said he's a packaging engineer. That sounds like possibly just a really nice way to put warehouse worker. It's possibly just a description of putting the packaging for these toys and advertising together. Either way, it doesn't matter where he falls in the hierarchy of Hasbro. I've seen a, a few people criticize this guy saying he's just a packaging engineer. Why, how does he know about, why is he complaining about a different area of the company? Well, if he's a packaging engineer and this is training for employees, then it still matters. This is how HR departments and now these critical race theory departments indoctrinate people and force them to live inside of their sphere. Because if you say anything negative towards it, you get fired. And that includes black men like David Johnson here. He gets fired if he speaks up against it. But let's skip to the actual clip. He actually provides a clip from the training that he got in Hasbro. By three to six months, babies are beginning to notice and already express preference by race. Do you, do you think, do you think in a three to six month old baby, do you think that they're racist? No, they have no concept of that. They they barely have concept of what's outside the door. This is the concept that they have. Sleep, food, and that's it. They don't care about race. You do. Um, there was research that looked at how by six months- Research, there's research, there was research. Can you get, can, can we get a, a link to this where I can see this research document, please? Honestly, if there's a leftist out here watching this video right now and you believe in CRT and you actually think this is a good thing, link me the research and who did the research. Link it to me. I want to read it. And if you're interested in changing minds, you would send that research to me because you'd want me to read it and you'd want me to understand. Do it, please. I, I In the comments below, please send me the research document on this. Infants living in a homogenous or same race neighborhood sh showed preferences for faces from their own racial groups, whereas infants living in more racially diverse environments did not show that same preference for their own racial group. And this is really important because we see that early exposure to different races is impacting these preferences before babies are even one year old. Your idea here is that kids need to be exposed to more diverse races okay that's fine but are you talking about all kids if you were coming from an honest place the same thing would apply to all kids but that's not what you're talking about 
you're talking about one specific type of kid. Children as young as two are already using race to reason about people's behaviors. And um, we may see this play out in daycare or on the playground and, and how kids are starting to choose or exclude playmates and friends. Again, where are the stats on this? Whenever I was a child, and I'm a very specific case, as you know, I am a quarter black. My dad is half black. My mom is white. I had white cousins. I had black cousins. I kind of spent my life kind of with different all different kinds of races so i don't quite know the the life of a kid that has only seen white somehow racist to other kids on the playground you can put a, a, a white kid in the middle of a preschool full of black kids that kid will just start playing because guess what they're fucking kids they will play you're projecting this mindset onto kids kids don't think that way kids think of i'm hungry I'm sleepy. That's pretty much it. That is their process. By age three, children are already starting to apply stereotypes and research shows that they also may use racist language intentionally at this age. What are you talking about? Give me some examples. If this is a training video, why are you not actually giving examples? Why are you just saying by age three, children are already starting to apply stereotypes. They also may use racist language intentionally at this age what are you talking about whose kids are you talking to where are the receipts bro okay one what is the racist language i would like to know what specifically you're talking about i've I, what are you what are kids running around saying the n-word what are you talking about what the and white children at this age may report explicit or overt negative attitudes towards people of color here's where the mask slips and white children at this age may report explicit or overt negative attitudes towards people of color. Why did you specify white kids? Now, if you are coming from the point of view of saying, hey, children in general should be exposed to multiple cultures and, and different races. Great, that's great, but that's not what you're doing. You're saying white kids are a problem. White kids, because white kids are racist. Uh, by age four, kids are showing a strong and consistent pro-white, anti-black bias. What the fuck are you talking about? What? What the fuck? Where are you getting this information? You know what creates racists? Separating kids by race. Like this. White children show pro-white bias at this age, and it's really important to note also that black and Latinx children do not show the same in-group preference for their own racial groups at this age oh really oh really so again you're gonna double down and specify only white kids show this in group preference and black and lat latin x <laughs> black and latino kids don't show this kind of in group preference that's some high class bullshit high class bullshit absolutely absurd to express that a single race of children are nurtured to be racist that is the most profoundly racist bullshit i've fucking ever heard and this is a training video for a toy company that makes toys for children this is how they think of kids so they're teaching this stuff in companies. It's not just companies. For just one second, let's look into this organization that provided this training seminar. We're here on the Conscious Kid website. Let's see who else they're affiliated with and where else this, this seed of thought is taught. Hey, Nickelodeon's kids, race, and unity. Creating inclusive classrooms with Google. So Nickelodeon, Google, YouTube kids, story time. Ooh, I don't like the word story time because a lot of those... So again, illustrating, this isn't just a one-off. This isn't just Hasbro. This idea of CTR getting in to your kids young, teaching them young that if they're white, they're racist. This is this sounds a whole lot like another racist person that had a group of kids. Uh, what was that? I can't quite, you know what? I can't remember. I'm gonna have to move on. While we're here, let's uh, take a gander over here at the resources, because I assume this is where they'd put all the stats and all of the information on all these things that they've been talking about throughout the seminar. 
So let's just see what they have. Uh, how to talk to your kids about race. Okay, there's no... This is not a... No stats here. Racial literacy, key terms. Uh, let me see here. This is not... This is also not... Uh, those that research doesn't look like this is the research this is just a glossary of their terms racial trauma and ways to cope click here also not resources or stats uh, kids books on race racism and resistance how to be a co-conspirator wait what oh there's an error yeah there's a big error here Children's books to counter anti-blackness, okay. Teaching consent to kids. An interview, okay, don't care, da da da. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, nowhere on the website is there a link to the studies that they are spewing into classrooms and companies across America. Anyways, whew, man, I don't know. I got kind of heated in that one. Well, I'm gonna, you know what, tomorrow we're gonna relax and have a stream because damn i need to fucking decompress from this shit. like subscribe i'll see you next time in this hell hole we live in